Does the European Union fund Iran's anti-drug squad, reported by UN investigator Ahmed Shahid, to carry out over 1,000 executions every year? Human rights charity Reprieve has asked the question, does the EU or member states fund the UN programmes linked to Iranian drug police, a police force that is responsible for hundreds of death sentences? Reprieve added it was deeply concerned of reports in Iranian media that a senior member of the UN Office of Drugs and Crime, UNODC, said the European Union was actively seeking to support Iran's drug enforcement operation. The Iran Daily reported that UNODC's Alex P. Schmid said the European Union has positive evaluation of Iran's performance in the anti-narcotics fight and the European Commission is eager to earmark new funds to Iran for the purpose. Schmid added, countries such as Denmark, Sweden and Norway are ready to allocate the credit to Iran. Iran's head of judiciary, Mohammad Bagha Olfat, said the death penalty had not proved a dissuasive effect on drug trafficking. Iran is a major route for Afghan heroin destined for European streets. However, according to Reprieve in 2014, Iran executed 474 drug offenders and 682 in 2015. Reprieve also say the EU contributed almost £2 million to UNODC's law enforcement programme for Afghanistan and neighbouring countries, with some used to fund Iran's drug squad. Reprieve added, counter-narcotics support programmes in Iran risk enabling death sentences by urging police to increase arrests, higher conviction rates and larger seizure sizes. A European parliamentary draft resolution called on the EU Commission to ensure that any technical or other assistance offered to Iran is not used to commit human rights violations. The EU's 28 members stated, jointly at the UN General Assembly, imposing the death penalty for drug offences is against the norms of international law. Federica Mogherini, an EU foreign affairs representative, said during a visit to Iran, it is not a secret we have some concerns regarding human rights in Iran. Maya Foa, a director at Reprieve, said, Iran continues to hang hundreds of alleged non-violent drug offenders every year in a brutal and ineffective war on drugs. She added, Given the EU's clear and categorical opposition to the death penalty, it would be hypocritical and unacceptable for the EU to provide support to Iran's execution machine. An EU spokesperson said, We do not comment on comments, neither on reported comments.